So a US patent that was filed by Nintendo was just recently cleared that shows a game console or a device that uses supplemental processing power to add to its main power. And it also uses cloud features and all sorts of other stuff like that. And uh, many people have immediately thought that, hey, this is a patent for the Nintendo NX, and this confirms that it's going to be a hybrid system or it's going to have the controller on the go, and it's going to have supplemental processing. Okay. I just want to give a quick reminder that when a, like, a lot of companies will file patents not because they ever intend to use them, but because they could easily get other companies who want to use that technology to license to them. Now, could this end up being used in the, in the Nintendo NX and be an actual thing? Absolutely. In fact, it's very likely that this is a patent for the Nintendo NX. But just remember, Nintendo has been filing patents for years and years and years of things that they've never actually used. And Nintendo's not the only company that does this. Pretty much every tech company and every video game company does this. And again, it's mostly either for the just-in-case thing, or it's for getting patent fees and licensing fees from other companies. So, what would I think if this was a real thing? What I think that this would be is the supplemental processing power is in case Nintendo releases a console mid-cycle, which they're kind of doing right now, and suddenly new consoles come out and boom, it's underpowered out of the gate. They might be doing something akin to the Sega 32X, but hopefully a little more cost-effective. We'll see. It could just be a simple GPU-CPU upgrade in a box without the extra stuff around it. We don't actually know yet. We don't know if this patent has to do with the NX, we don't know if it's a just-in-case, we don't know what the NX is. But, I do expect Nintendo's gonna give us more information after Star, Star Fox Zero comes out, because after that point, not only do they have nothing to announce for the Wii U that we know of in a while, but they said new info was coming in 2016, and I expect them so that it doesn't compete with, like, they don't compete with each other, Star Fox Zero being a Wii U title and the NX being something different. I expect them they're going to wait until after that to give us more info. So anyway, stay tuned. When this new info does come out, uh, I'll definitely be reporting on it.